Okay, I got my cough drop. I'm all ready to go. <coughs> it's still not helping, so let's go. Okay, up. Uh. What's with all the hamster? Oh yeah, that's a power supply. Number five is exhausted. By releasing all the hamsters from the power core, Count Spankulot was able to plunge the treehouse into total darkness. Yeah, this is true. That Grandma Stomphum's first attack was when the hamsters went on vacation because of number three. Wow. Gotcha, little hamster! You can't run from me, silly! No, you- Well, I thought you were- <sighs> That's one. Um, okay team, we need to catch those hamsters and get that power core back online. Who's up for it? Ooh, ooh, me, 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 pick me! I wanna play! I thought you were ungrateful about your life being saved, and I thought you were still as tired as they are. <sighs> well, number four would be exhausted because he survived a horror movie, and then everybody else would be exhausted because they just got their ass kicked. Kicked, my mistake. <laughs> well, I guess we're playing as number three. When I'm quite mad at her for not being thankful at number four, saving them. And you know what? They fall in love with each other still, and they're married when they're adults, by the way. So, <laughs> and for some reason, number two marries number five. No, actually, that does kind of make sense, because number two has a crush on uh, number five's older sister. So, I think it would make sense that, two, that, that number five and number two came together, at least, so... Oi. Okay, number three, listen close. Your mission is to collect enough hamsters to power up the doors so you can get to Collect the hamsters, so it's a collect-a-thon, okay. We should be able to power up the treehouse. Okay, number two. Is it also my mission to hug and kiss each and every fuzzy little hamster? Maybe. Um, yes? Okay, little hamster friends, I need you to power up the door for me now. What's that? I know you want to play instead, but, well, okay. We'll play Hamster Go Seek and then you'll power up the door! And I'm starting to get some... ...vibes and this will be just like the monkeys from Rugrats Royal Ransom. And by the way, number three can glide because, um, sweatshirt maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably going to hate these levels to death because of how annoying they are. <laughs> Number three just gave me the Joker disease from Arkham City. Wow. <coughs> I'm not faking this, by the way. I, I really am coughing from being sick a few days ago. Fuck. Um. Fuck, fuck! Jesus frick. Um. Up. Oh. Uh, number three, you shouldn't be standing right now and being able to walk. You should have like a million broken bones from that fall. Add in a uh, Mortal Kombat X-Ray while we're at it, so... <laughs> Hello. I mean, we need 15? Well, how do we get back up? Of course, number three's got to have all the rainbow monkeys. Uh, oh, there we go. Then we have horror music playing, signifying our return upstairs. Hello. Fuck. Hello. And... Okay. Fuck! Why do you have to fall straight down when you let go of the button? Like, why is there no momentum? Jesus Christ. 
It's like you gotta hold down the button until you're right above it, and, you, and then after you let go, you just lose all momentum, like that. <coughs> I think Barmies may still be dying. Um... Okay, holding down the button. Jesus fuck. Oh! Number hamster, hamster, hamster. There we go. I want to do it again. There's more in there. Mm, okay. Let's see if we can turn around and do the walk of nightmares. Let's see. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's not that much fighting in number three's levels. You just collect hamsters. Exciting, hmm? Then again, she's a big pacifist, you know? You gotta get her pissed before she starts fighting. You know? Like, if I grabbed a gun and shot one of the hamsters, she'd probably kill me. Like, that's an example. <laughs> that's a quite violent and disturbing example, but that's how much you'd have to get her mad, basically. Oh god! Hamster, 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 they all run away! Because you know this is like bananas and monkeys running away in Royal Ransom. But you know what? I'll give number three some credit. At least she doesn't praise the enemy like Tommy does in Rugrats. She plays nice with the enemies, but she knows when they do bad. She's so like, yeah, I know. I want to be all nice to you, but I gotta take you in anyway. That's like what she does. But Tommy, he fumbles around in the catapult because he wants to praise how bad the stupid knights are. So, you know, I need to give number three more respect then. She's better than Tommy in that respect, so. I just really don't want to like Tommy right now. I gotta be honest. He screwed me over twice with his wall fetish. And then the, ha and the second time I had to tack on praising the enemy, so... Come here! Don't you want to hug me? All I want to do is give a hug. I'm not scary. Well, really, I'm not scary, so... Hamster, go see! That's so exciting! Um, I'm gonna let my hamster loose out of his cage! He's gonna run around the sink and then he's gonna... No, 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 no. Let's start again. I'm gonna let my hamster out on the kitchen table. He's gonna run around on the table. Running from table to table. Then he finds the perfect hiding spot. The sink. But then... He thinks he can go, but then he sees a curious hole in the sink. He pulls the plug open, goes down to the hole, thinking number three will never find him in there. But then he goes down a pipe, and then he never comes out. And they gotta call the plumber to get the hamster out, hoping he didn't die from um, the sewage in there. So... It looks like 
actually just stepping on them and killing them. Is it, is it just me or does it sound like that? <laughs> Well, actually, a more appropriate example of a pet getting loose being a bad idea would be a pet tarantula. You let the tarantula loose to play with him like a dog, and it'll run upstairs and then hide on the bed. But then your grandfather will wake up, see there's a bug crawling on the floor, he'll be terrified by how fuzzy it is, and he'll kill it. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Gotta love what Grandpa Lou does. So... Well, if I were in Grandpa Lou's shoes, I'd probably do the same thing, because I'm terrified of bugs. There we go, more hamsters collected. By the way, I never had a hamster in real life, I only had dogs. Though I think my sister had a friend who had a hamster, or guinea pig, I'm not sure which, but... Kids next door, frappe. Hey, we have a frappe! I wonder what the frappe is! Ooh, this is cool. no, oh god. She's really got like cool. a freaking machine gun. Don't oh! Oh, oh, oh no, oh, n number three, what the fuck are you doing? What the hamsters do to you? Why are you freezing them in carbonite? It's cryogenically freezing them. And then when you unfreeze them, there's no guarantee they'll be alive. Number three, what the, the what's your problem? God. Has anybody been frozen like that and lived? Well, we gotta shoot them, because that's gonna stop them from being so annoying, so... <coughs> <coughs> and, that, and what I mean by that is that they're gonna run away. But hey, it looks like they unfreeze after a while, so... Yeah. See, like that. Um... I've been so dark in this video, haven't I? All we're doing is catching cuddly little hamsters to power the kids next door, um, treehouse. Which just made me realize, as long as a zombie apocalypse were to occur, to occur, all the kids would have to do is just stay in the treehouse, and then they'd be fine. Wow. As long as they can keep the hamsters fed and themselves fed, which they clearly can. Since they got the cool bus and everything. I think they could ride out a zombie apocalypse and not, and maybe get kids to rule once all the adults die out, so. Wow, I just thought of a fanfic series, wow. I wonder if somebody's gonna ever gonna write that. Of course, she's gotta do a twirly thing anytime she gets on the ledge. Because, you know, she's so happy. Never angry, except when you make her angry, so... That's her one personality trait. Always be happy. Maybe she has a personal struggle, and that's why she's always happy. I don't know. I have to watch the show again. <coughs> oh, fuck. There we go. Freeze! Freeze! I shall freeze you! I am vexing! Keep it up, number three. Just a few more hamsters and you'll have enough power to use the elevator. Yay! Down we go. Don't want it get you any broken bones, okay? You? How about you? <laughs> so she wants to freeze them. Why the hell would you want to freeze them? You can't cuddle with them when they're frozen. <laughs> I don't even know what she said right there. Wow. Hey, Toby hamsters, not so fast. They are furry and they scurry as they run and go squeak. That's why it's fun to play hamster go seek. And now she's not even saying it right. Singing. Oh, wow. Already? I don't want 
have spent all day watching number three play some stupid hamster game. I agree. This is getting a little old, video so. Games. Some video games. This is a real game, Wally. These are real hamsters. This is a real game. Well, guess what? I'm not playing a real. I'm, the game I'm playing is not real, so. Besides, in real life, trying to do something like this would be annoying. But you know, it's all good. She loves it, so I don't know. power up the treehouse. Never seen a million hamsters in one place, so in real life, anyway. And number three, sometimes you get irresponsible with them. <coughs> one time, you gave them a vacation, which shut down the defense grid for the treehouse, which allowed Grandma Stuffum to attack. And then you got overweight, and you probably got diabetes from that, unknowingly to us, alongside number four, number... Th All five of you, basically! I'm surprised you were able to recover from that! Wow! Okay, number three, just round up those last few hamsters... Because, you know, Grandma Stuffum gives kids diabetes for what reason? I don't know, because that's her purpose. I don't know. She probably gives adults diabetes, too. She probably caused the diabetes epidemic that's currently plaguing the U.S. right now. So, it's all her fault. Grandma Stuffum. And don't tell me she's trying to solve world hunger, because... Let's face it, the problem is not that apparent in the U.S., I don't think. Or maybe it is, and I'm, I'm just not aware of it, but I don't know. Because I am hiding under a rock with a lot of things. And I don't want to be oblivious. Around the world, it's bad, but I'm not sure if it's in just in the U.S. So... Third <laughs> what am I saying? It probably is bad. Here, because the country is screwed up. A lot of countries are screwed up. Well, actually, every country is flawed in their own way. No one's perfect. Well, actually, nothing can be perfect, so... Which is why The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time should not be considered perfect. In fact, the fanboys who defend Ocarina of Time as the perfect game, nothing wrong with it, are big hypocrites. Because for some reason, they say the game is perfect, which means there's nothing wrong with the game in any way, shape, or form. But then they criticize the Water Temple for being one of the worst Zelda dungeons in history. You can't have a perfect game if you claim the game has a glaring flaw. So, yeah. Fucking hamsters. Um, fuck. Stop jumping on the trampoline. Oh! That's not enough. What are you saying? Oh, yeah. And that one! And that one! I see so many of them. They're humping the treehouse. <laughs> God. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. Jesus, I didn't need- I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Where are they? Here we are, go on up. Up we go! And that's not enough. Let's, uh... Alright, another one. We have... Less than ten to go. Let's go up here. Oh god, lagging so much. Oh, we captured, captured all the humpers. There we go. We broke another one of number three's bones because we're reckless. <coughs> oh my god, I'm almost. It's almost done. 
It's almost done. Three more. The collectathon's almost over. Come on. Jesus fuck. Where are ya? Hamsters, hamsters, where the fuck are the hamsters? There's one. One more and we're finished! <coughs> Alright, shit, there's one. Oh, there's one! That's it, number three. You've collected the last of the hamsters. No I didn't, there's more over there. And report back to the mission prep room. Wow. No. 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 No! The game froze! My god! Well, ain't that just fine and dandy, people? I guess you're not gonna be able to watch the next cutscene, hmm? Nope! Ho oh, ho! Nope! We are not watching the next cutscene because the game froze! That's just fucking great. I guess I'll see you all in the next video, because there's no way in hell I'm doing this again tonight. But just so you know, I don't hate the game as a whole. It's just that number three's levels aren't that interesting, because it's, they're just collect-a-thons, basically. And collect-a-thons can get old after a while, so... And annoying when you're trying to catch, like, a few stragglers. But otherwise, I think the game is okay, but now that the game froze, it just wants me to hate it. This hasn't happened since Cage Recom a long time ago, so... Well, I'll have to do what I can to make it up to everybody in the next video, so... Alright, I'll see you all there, whenever it happens.